Hey, so we know we got Indiana Jones. We did that upgrade kit from Gridiron Studios, but we're going to take a look at Short Round today. He's a part of the build of Artif Artifact. I know the box is a little bit bashed, but I took my chances because I wanted to get him. And then we'll also take a look at Helena Shaw, who also is part of that build of Artifact, and just see how they, they pair. Anyways, the, this was on the shelf at Target, and this was over at GameStop. Still on pre-order, but that's okay. I'm curious about the short round because he comes with Indiana Jones's hat, and I'd like to see how that works with other figures. All right, so I got the Helena shot out, and then she comes with her accessories here. But what I wanted to do was when short round, and I pulled them out of the package, these two things popped out. And one is the figure, of course, and one is all the accessories, but they're about the same size, which I thought was pretty funny. So I just thought to show that off. There is short round coming out of the package. I'm going to stand him up, and we're going to get the accessories out. Now, Helena Shaw came with this build artifact piece, which is actually pretty cool. And short round came with, looks like the back of the skull and some other accessories. So that's pretty neat too. So the cool thing is just with these two right here. Oh, I'm glad I pulled that out because there was a knife in there. Just with these two pieces here, right, you get... A good portion of that skull which is actually kind of cool and I'm even if I don't grab any more let's take a look at the Helena Shaw if you saw the new uh, Indiana Jones style of destiny she plays an integral role she's his goddaughter in the movie and uh, she's quite an adventurer and shows a different side of archaeology in the film uh, I know there were a lot of complaints about the movie but overall I found that it was super enjoyable and I actually did like the character overall and I think that, like, um, could there be a standalone movie in the future? Maybe. Uh, it would be an interesting take on the film. So here we got the backpack. And one of the things I think is cool about it is there's something sticking out there. And then you got that rope with that carabiner, which is kind of nice. And uh, if you could put that on her back. So that looks pretty cool. And then, of course, she comes with this really old flashlight, which is kind of neat. And we'll just stick that in her hand right there. I did not get the Indiana Jones yet from the Dial of Destiny, but I'll probably pick that one up just because. Um, it's a good... Uh, just because I think it would be a good way to sort of complete that line for the Dial of Destiny. What I want to do now is just talk about short round a little bit. Let me get them in focus. There you go. There's short round and man, the face looks really, really good on them. And uh, we're going to take this like jacket off. Now it would be nice if like the logo was on the jacket, but even without the jacket, he looks really, really cool. Um, yeah, I like the outfit. It doesn't have a whole lot of articulation like the rest of them, but you know, there he is. And this opens up. And then he's got his other suspenders and his uh, t-shirt underneath and basically just like a miniaturized version of the articulation on all the other figures which looks pretty cool he also comes with his baseball cap that fits right over his head and i'm glad it has the logo on the hat that is a really nice touch and then he can wear that backwards which is really cool and then of course he comes with indiana jones's hat which he can wear right and it's probably sized about right for indiana jones let's see what it looks like on my selfie series figure and you can see why it's the other indiana jones hat is molded on and the hat size you can now you know why indiana jones's hat is molded because of the head because that hat just perfectly fits on short round and I think it's super cool that he has a hat he can wear. He has two hats as a matter of fact. He also comes with this dagger which is kind of nice. A voodoo, let me get that in focus, voodoo doll of Indiana Jones and you can see there's a whip in the hand of the voodoo doll so that is kind of cool too. He's got quite a few accessories and then he comes with a torch which is really really nice. Um, so that he can go around in the um, dark. 
Now the cool thing is when I upgraded this kit from Gridiron Studios, they also provided a torch. So now I got a couple of different torches to use with my uh, setup, but I think it's really cool. I think I'm gonna totally put him with his um, baseball cap because I think he looks really cool. And I probably won't bother putting this back on. It is cool, but I don't think I'm going to. I think like I'm just gonna stand him out here with Indy like that and maybe put Helena Shaw in the background. So there you have it. There is short round from the Indiana Jones Adventure series. I think this is actually a really cool figure for me to get. I keep thinking about the Goonies and when he had that trench coat, maybe if I make him like a trench coat or something like that, maybe pick up another one, I can do some sort of like a, like a Goonies figure or something like that. That would be actually really, really cool. So anyways, I think he's a perfect addition to the uh, Indiana Jones Adventure Series line, and I'm kind of happy to have them in my set. Anyways, everybody, I really appreciate you tuning in and um, checking out this quick little video, and as always, have a fantastic day.